We're at CS 2018, we're with Lenovo, and we're checking out the Mirage Solo VR headset and the Mirage camera. This VR headset is actually the world's first VR headset to not be dependent on a phone or a PC. So the idea is that with these two devices, you get a complete VR solution that lets you film 3D content and then view and enjoy that content on the headset. And you never have to touch a phone or a PC to do any of it. Inside of it, you've got a Qualcomm A35 chipset. That's actually the same chipset that you would find in a high-end smartphone. And that's what enables this guy to work on its own independently. So this is the Lenovo Mirage camera. It's using Daydream, Google's new platform for VR, and it also has dual 13 megapixel cameras inside it. It's really small. I'm kind of surprised. I expected it to be bigger, but you can see that it's threaded, so you can put it on a tripod if necessary. Very simple operations. So how does it feel? Is it comfortable? It's actually quite comfortable. The cushions around my eyes are, are very soft. It, it feels like something I could wear for a while without getting a headache which some of the VR headsets that I've tried are actually very heavy. And it's surprising that it's very light because it's a standalone system. So the Lenovo Mirage Solo is going to be under $400 and the Lenovo Mirage camera is going to be under $300. So for well under $1,000, you can get a complete and total VR package. There are some VR headsets out there that are about $200, but when you consider the price with the type of processor and technology that's inside of this guy, it's actually super, super affordable.